In this video, we will show you how to export a Rhino DXF file with closed polylines and import this in diamonds with the automatic creation of plates within these polylines. Now let's start in Rhino. Here we will make a very simple example in order to illustrate the workflow. We have two curves, two simple curves. We select them and use the loft function in order to create the surface. This kind of surface is not directly possible in diamonds. We need to mesh the surface in order to be able to transfer it to diamonds. So we hit the mesh menu from NURBS object and then we select the surface. You can play with the mesh parameters, have a preview and hit OK to confirm. These are non-planar meshes which are defined by four points. Now in diamonds each surface is flat having no curves at all meaning that there are only three points to uniquely define it. So we need to triangulate the non-planar quadrupolar meshes in order to be able to use them in diamonds. Now the mesh now is still glued together that means in export we would have one big polyline. We will now unweld it with an angle zero and next we will explode the mesh. What is now left over are individual mesh polylines. We can now select them all. And use the dup border function in order to create regular closed polylines. Once you have these selected, we will export them to the .exif file. Give the file a name. And you can choose a certain export scheme. If you like, there are several possibilities. We just hit OK here. The file is exported. We move now to diamonds, we choose a new project and we do file import from the XF and import the file that we have just exported from Rhino. Please make sure that you check the length unit and of course it's uh, important also to opt for the creation of plates within the closed polylines. And here we have the final result. We have the triangulated surface that we made. We can now double click any plate and edit properties.